I believe everyone has a special place to visit where you feel like visiting in your own time. I have the same. And today I am going to share one of my favorite places where I always would like to visit during my free time. In fact, every weekend I used to visit this place. A place where I used to spend some quality time with nature and a lovely god creation called birds. The place is in between the concrete jungle of Greater Faridabad, a small farmland around a village named Faridpur. The area being used by locals for different type of cultivation in different season. The place is also good for bird watching from car. On 9th March 2019, I visited this place very first time and spotted 49 different species of the bird on the same day. For me, the place become a favorite hot spot for bird watching. I spotted 100 plus birds from the same area including some rare and some good birds. The habitat is very good for black francolin, a state bird of Haryana. Male is around 31 to 36 centimeter, weight around 283 to 566 gram. Female weights around 227 to 482 grams and the wingspan 50 to 55 centimeters. Males are about 10% larger than females. Adult males are generally black, white patch on the face and chestnut color around the neck. Adult females are with rufous buff underparts, blackish centers and chestnut place on the nape and lack of white patch on the face. The bird is more vocal during the breeding season and can be found calling from tree stump. roof of the house or even a big pole. Another francolin from the same area are grey francolin, a 30 to 35 centimeter male 255 to 418 gram, female 200 to 365 gram grayish brown upper part, boldly streaked with pale buff and finely barred and chestnut under part. The bird can be seen here throughout the year but mostly active during breeding season. The part is also known for lay the biggest clutches of any birds with 14 to 15 eggs usually. Only the female incubate the eggs but the male is invariably close by. Both sexes are alternative parents and the young can feed as soon as they leave the nest and are capable of their first proper flight at 15 days. During the rainy season one can spot rain quill from the same area. The shy bar button quail is also active during the breeding period and they nest mainly in summer monsoon months. The male bird is around 13.5 to 17.5 cm and 35 to 52 gram where female is 47 to 68 gram in weight. The females are brighter than male with blackish throat and central beast. 
these small trap running birds generally avoid flying until you reach very closely. Indian viewfall are quite common and one can spot throughout the year. A 40 to 44 cm long Indian stone curlew also known as thickening due to their large heavy looking legs can be found in different fields. One can easily identify them with their long yellow legs, short yellow beaks with black tip, large yellow eyes, largely whitish face and blackish eye strip. Both the sexes look alike. Their streaked sandy brown plumages help them to camouflage against sandy soil during the day when they are mainly inactive. The red wetter lapwings are also quite common and can be found everywhere in the field. Another lapwing which is not common in many parts of India but you can find the same quite often here. They are very shy lapwing and always alert in the field. Outside the farmland, there is a dump yard where villagers put that body of their cattle and Egyptian vultures are often seen here while feeding on those carcass. They are the smallest of all vultures and can reach 54 to 70 cm in length and 1.6 kg to 2.4 kg of weight. They have a wingspan of 146 to 175 cm. The black kite can be seen while most of the time hovering in the sky. And if your luck favors, you can spot Bonnelis Eagle too. Shikra, a small but powerful urban acipiter, can be found most of the time here. During the monsoon months, Grey-bellied cuckoo are most vocal and can be heard from various locations. The mythological bird Jacobin cuckoo, also known as pied cuckoo or pied crested cuckoo, can be seen here. In part of North India, the bird is known as Chatak or the one that lives on the drop of the rain. Another cuckoo with glossy black with dull lime green bill and have ruby red eyes. Asian quail are more vocal during the breeding season. The bird is shy despite being noisy, usually stay hidden in dense foliage, falls from the treetops and white canopy and much more often heard than seen. Greater Kokal, also known as Crow Pheasant and known by various local names such as Mahoka, Kamadi Kokal, Koka, Bardwaj, Hoka, Kali Kaka and many more local names. They also breed in rainy season, mainly July to September in India. Another shy and lipstick bird, Serkir Malkoa, are little rare but spot from the same area as well. The colorful Indian roller give their appearance in summer months. The busy green beaters are also quite common during summer and monsoon months. One can spot them easily while feeding on small insects and butterflies. Another bee eater from the same area is blue tail bee eater who generally here in the month of July to August feeding on various field. The 
Eurasian hoopoe can be seen while feeding on the ground. The laughing dove. Rock pigeon. yellow-footed green pigeon rose ring parakeet are quite common here and sometimes alexandrine parakeet also appears here there are few water bodies near the farm area where you can find many water birds during different season of the year. The two pair of lesser whistling duck are fairly common and can be seen in different moods. The bird is also known by Indian whistling duck, Java whistling duck or lesser whistling teal. can be seen often perching on the tree near water bodies given rise to the alternate name tree duck they call whistling duck because of their call and they eat mostly water plants nibbling on their seeds and shoots Now build up which is almost double in the size of lesser whistling duck are uncommon to this area. They are also called Nakta in South Asia and also called as Com duck because the male has a round knob on top of the bill which is particularly prominent in the breeding season. Indian spot bill duck is a bird of freshwater lakes and marshes in fairly open country. They are very common to this area. They are mainly grey duck with a paler head and neck and a black bill with bright yellow tip. The bird is in size of mallard and both male and female have similar call to mallard. An excellent swimmer and diver who pursue its prey underwater, little grief can be found at pretty much any open body of water across most of its extensive range. The bird is also known as dove chick. The bird breed in small colonies in heavily vegetated area of freshwater lakes and like other reefs its nest on the water's edge. The one thing I really like about the egret and heron, they are very focused while searching their food. Indian pond heron are very common in India but can be easily missed when they stalk prey at the edge of the small water bodies. Locally they are known by Kunchu Bagula and they are solitary foragers. A small white egret known as little egret. Their plumage is all white long black legs with yellow feet, slim black bill 
and long term basis on its head and neck during the breeding season. At one time they were hunted because of their plums for decorating heads. They stuck its prey in shallow water, often running or stuffing its feet. They also stand still and wait to ambush prey. A stocky white bird adorned with buff plumage in the breeding season and has mainly white plumages in non-breeding. The cattle egret has gone through one of the most rapid natural expansion of any bird. They are originally native to Africa and Asia. Unlike most other heron, its feed in relatively dry grassy habitats, often with cattle or other large mammals. It catches insects and small vertebrate prey distributed by these animals. It also ticks and flies from cattle. Near the pond, one can see little cormorant while drying their wings. Other common species near the water bodies are white breasted water hen. Despite being called water hens, they are not very good swimmers. A widely distributed white throated kingfisher, also known as white breasted kingfisher, they often found well away from water where it feeds on a wide range of prey that include small reptiles, crabs, small rodents and even birds. A common moorhen swims like a dove and walks atop floating vegetation like a rail, its long and slender toes. They are easily recognized from its dark plumage apart from the white under tail, yellow legs and a red facial shield. Snipes are cyborgs and they try to be camouflaged with the nature if they found any threat. But during the breeding period, I found greater painted snipe many times in open. This is the one bird where females are more beautiful than male. They occupy wetland habitats and sometimes inhabit human-made areas such as rice fields. Common snipes can be found here in wet grassy area of marshes and ponds. Their long pointed bill help them to probe in the muds for snail, insects and earthworms. The black-headed ibis usually found in inland marshy wetland and on the coast while feeding on fish, frog and other water creatures. They are also known as Oriental White Ibis, Indian White Ibis and Black Necked Ibis. Red Dip Ibis also known by Indian Black Ibis. This species is less aquatic than other species of Ibis in North India. They mostly breed between March to October. They are omnivorous and their diet includes frog, fish, earthworms, lizard, and small snakes and even seeds. Common green shank can be seen near water bodies during winter times. The other waders like green sand pepper are also common during the winters. Mars and Pipers Taming Stings and Draft can also be seen during the winter. The electric wire most of the time filled with swallows and near the water bodies one can spot barn swallow few centimeters above water surface often 
picking insects out of the water or drink exclusively by skimming water surface and lapping up water with their lower mandible. The another swallow with rufous chest and crown and forehead glossy blue upper parts, wings and tail black with blue gloss. Their common name is derived from their very long fine outer tail feathers which tail behind like two wires. The long tail stripe and black trongo are also can be seen here. Red vented bulbuls are pretty common and can be seen at various feet during early morning. Sometimes yellow throated sparrow came into the field to collect nesting material and for feeding. The buyers also do the nesting here and during the breeding period can be seen here on various fields. The other birds from the same area are Tickle Sleeve Wobbler, Valley Thread Wobbler, Common Chip Chaff, Bank Manor, Brahmini Starling, Roji Starling, Indian Robin, Purple Sunbird, Indian Silverbill, Scaly Breasted Munia. Indian Bushlar, Bengal Bushlar, Long Bill Pipit, Valet Pipit, Paddyfield Pipit, and few others. I wish the area remained same so that these lovely birds keep on coming on the place year after year. Thank you for watching. For more video kindly subscribe the channel.